I, I know about five people right away who would right away. Where'd you get that? I need. Yeah. It. <laughs> um, okay, so Rick, Dean Fogg. Yes, yes. He, he's messing with us all. He yes. his eyes, right? Yes. No, no. <laughs> uh, well, um, the glasses are on for a reason. Right. Um, when he, ha when I have on the when the, the glasses, um, they're sort of enchant, they're enchanted glasses, mm -hmm. and they allow him to see just a bit of color, a bit of outlines of people's faces, things like okay. that. But he can't, like I wouldn't be able to look at you and say you're wearing yellow, right? But I can say that I know that you're standing there. Okay. You know, so he knows the outlay of, of his office and right. the university grounds and break bills, and he he sort of walks with confidence. He may bump into things every now and then. Yeah. But um, he, he, he doesn't like people to help him. You know, he likes to, it, it, it sort of chips at his confidence. Um, and he needs to be able to move, you know, I've been trying to play him like, I got it. You know, yeah. I, you know I don't need your help. I, you know, I taught myself magic. I'll, I'll, I'll do this, you know. But maybe he does need help. Uh, so you're no stranger to the like sci-fi fantasy-esque genre. Uh, what yeah. made the magician special? There's a couple of things that made Magician special. Um, I'm, I'm working with people who I love. Uh, I've worked with Johnny, I call him Johnny Mac, but John McNamara and Sarah Gamble are old friends of mine, as well as Lori Leeser, who's here in this room. She's standing right there. <laughs> and we've all known each other for uh, a long time, and we just haven't worked together in, in a long time. I worked on their show, The Aquarius, about two years ago, and it was just a, it was a small character in an episode, two episodes. And then uh, about a year goes by, and they call me up, and they say, well, do you want to play a teacher in this pilot? I said, sure. I had no idea what it was. Yeah. And I didn't even realize how the scope of gravity of, of the magicians, because I hadn't read the books. I've heard of them, I just hadn't read them. And and, and I, I, I read the script and I said, oh my God, <laughs> this is good. Yeah. I die in the pilot, but then they decide, they, they really liked what I was doing and they decided to keep me around. So I, I was, it's a blessing. You know? Yeah, it was, it was such a surprise to come back from the, the eyes yeah. being ripped out. Um, yeah. But it was so great to see you yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, it was wonderful. And I, I love the, the scene where Alice and, 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 and Quentin, are, Quentin's late for class and he comes in and then he sits down and then she says, he's back. <laughs> you know, and then I'm standing there and then I re at the very end of the teaser I take off the glasses like mm -hmm. this. You know, and then I was like, bam, he's back. You know? Yeah. So it's a, it's a fun character. And, and um, my dad loves it because I get a chance to wear these cool suits. <laughs> and um, But he really loves the show itself, which I think he's 75 years old, my dad. And he, he said, man, that's a good show. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it's it's reaching across demographics, yeah. which is a great thing. Uh, so what can you tell us about uh, where Dean Fogg is going to be next season? I can tell you that there will be a love interest for Dean Fogg. Nice. Yes. Not a student, but... Uh, <laughs> Exactly, but um, uh, someone who is a, a very powerful uh, uh, magician. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, I was pleasantly, they called and, and told me, um, we got something coming up that you, we think you'll like. And I said, what is it, what is it? Maybe a little bit of romance. And I said, oh, really? Said, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they sent the script over, and um, uh, there is a bit of romance coming up. And um, I don't know if they're going to continue it, but um, we did it. We shot it already, and it, it was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's nice to see, you know, the older teacher having a bit of, uh, of a life. Yeah. You know, that's more like lifelike, you know, so, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, so if you, Rick, could take any character from The Magicians to Fillory, mm. who would you take with you? Wow. Those that even have, that have not been there or those that... Oh, gosh. Uh, I mean, I guess it's just the ones from season one because we yeah. haven't seen season two yet. Right, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I would take with me. Well... I really love um, Professor Sunderland. Okay. Um, uh, I think Anne, Anne Dudek plays her perfectly. Yeah. And I love Professor Lipson, played by Keegan Connor Tracy, uh -huh. uh, who's here. She's doing another, she did a TV series or something. We, she, was at, she crashed the Magician's Party last night, so it was great to see her. And um, I, I would take probably a couple of the, of the professors with me. Um, uh, I didn't notice I didn't say any, any male professors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fillory is. The bomb. It is a pl magical place to be. Yeah. And it's like one of those special places. You want to take someone special, you know. So I, I would probably take one of them. Uh, Denise Crosby played uh, uh, Alice's aunt. And I, Denise is a good friend of mine. And yeah. we had so much fun playing that, that stuff. And, I, and so I would maybe take Denise with me, okay. uh, Genji. And then maybe this new love interest whose name I can't reveal yet. So I don't know. So one, of the, one of those four, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you think Dean Fogg feels bad about not letting Julia into break bills? I think he does. Yeah? Yeah. Because he, he knows that she's fully capable of being there. Yeah. You know, um, 
it, it, it's just that they had to try something different this time to see if that'll change change the outcome, you know. But it didn't. Yeah. It made it worse. True. I lost my vision. Uh, Arjun lost or Penny lost his hands. Yeah. You know, people die. So um, uh, it's one of those. Qu- it's actually a great question. I don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure, actually. No maybe, maybe he. It's good to be the king. I don't know. Let me think about that. That's yeah. actually a good question. Yeah, that's a really, really good. Yeah. Um, I think he felt bad about Alice, though. Yeah. You know, and even told we did the. I loved it because we were able to to to, to, to play it out, and you know, uh, you know, I, I didn't. You know, I felt bad what happened to your brother. You know, I, I felt responsible for what happened to your brother, and you, you you're far too talented not to be here. Yeah. And you know, he the dean is a talented magician. He's yeah. a, I call him sorcerer, actually. That's how I like to see him. And he knows Alice is. Yeah. Powerful. So I think you're going to see a lot of that coming out in season two. Hopefully, uh, yeah. What is your favorite thing about being on The Magicians? I get a chance to play, and um, you know, I, 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 I always said that when I was when I was a young I was a young stage actor in Chicago, and, and um, I, I said, you know, I really want to go to LA and I want to be on a great cop show like NYPD Blue, and I did. Yeah. I came to LA. <laughs> I was a detective on NYPD Blue for one episode. I had five lines, and. I don't know. It was it was fun, but it wasn't maybe what I thought it was going to be. Right. And then I started booking Star Trek and all these different sci-fi things, and I was like, I, I feel like I'm home now. You know, I, I think you attract the thing that's closest to your your heart. Yeah. And I love science fiction and, and fantasy, and I love a great drama. Don't get me wrong, but this show is a great it's a great drama in this in the sci-fi genre, and it it, it really delivers for me emotionally. I get a chance to to act. Yeah. <laughs> You know, when I did Battlestar Galactica, I was flying up to Vancouver to, to, to say, like, you know, three words or four words. And, and, and um, I was getting really frustrated. This time, I'm coming up to Vancouver. Not only coming up, I'm living there now because of the show. And I get a chance to, to, to really, you know, dive in and, and do, do some, some, some acting. Right. That's, what I, that's the only thing I've ever been really decently good at, you know. So, like, I, you know, um, to get a chance to do it is, is you know, is, is a blessing. So. What's the hardest thing about playing blind? Probably the hardest thing is <clears throat> you're, the first thing you're concerned about is people who are watching the show, and and, and they're and they're they're wondering if I'm doing it the right way. Right. And um, you know, I want to I don't want to dishonor anyone. You know. Yeah. So um, one of our producers had, knows someone who is blind, and I believe is a relative of, of hers. Um, and um, uh, you know, she I, I really wanted to make sure that she was happy. You know, with, with how I was, with how I was playing it. You know, yeah. we, we thought we, we we tried a couple of different ways of well, so we could we play it where he just can't see anything at all. Mm-hmm. Um, does he walk with a cane? Does he have a, you know, a guiding dog? Like, well, how do? And um, I, I think we we decided they we all sort of decided that you know he walks with confidence, um, but he he just he, he really can't see ninety eight percent of what you and I can see. You know, um, but um, you know, hopefully hopefully it'll it'll, it'll change. We'll see. He needs the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rick, thank you so much it's for talking with us. My God, are you kidding? Thank you so much. Thank you.